You know our next guest from films like Long Shot and the hilarious Netflix show Grace and Frankie. And she is also one of the women behind a movie I am personally obsessed with, Bride Wars, which I'm so excited to talk to her about. Please welcome June Diane Raphael. Hi. You know what? First of all, June, when do you sleep? I'm reading your book. You have the Jane Club, which is the most empowering, incredible place for women. Oh Will you gosh. please tell us about that? Totally. Well, it was actually when I was writing that book was right after the last the last election. And I was just starting back at work on Grace and Frankie. And I was really feeling I had my second child and really feeling like I was either apologizing for leaving him to go to my professional dream job or conversely, when I was there apologizing for having a small child at home and having to breastfeed and do all the things. And I was struck with just how little infrastructure there is for women who um, are mothers and caretakers and taking care of small children. At the time, I was also taking care of an older parent. So on both ends of life, doing a ton of unpaid labor, and then also pursuing this thing that I loved outside the home. So the Jane Club started off as a workspace where we offer full-time childcare. Since the pandemic, we have turned into a digital village where we are supporting women every single day. We are a community platform in over 30 states now in four countries. Um, and we offer live gatherings, social connections, and it's all really centering caretakers and the women who take care of everyone else. So they come to our space online and they get taken care of. And we meditate together, we do Pilates together, we have book clubs, we attend teach-ins on gender and race and equity. And um, I just got really tired of being told that I could have it all. <laughs> Well, you know, Helen Gurley, Helen Gurley Brown, the creator and founder of the book, uh, Having It All, didn't have children, which... Big factor. Turns out it's pretty hard. It's incredible to see the work you are doing, June Diane. And as someone who's tried to figure out what being a woman is supposed to be, uh, you know, I've worked my whole life. I was not a mom my whole life. Um, and I, too, am, am trying to figure out what kind of person I want to be, how I want to take care of people. It's a, it's, it's a lot, and we are in such fortunate positions. And, but what you are doing with your resources by lifting these other women up, building this community, and giving them this place to stay and be and think and discuss um, everything that goes on within a life, I think is just so commendable. It's such a fantastic place, and I'm so glad we get to talk about it on the show, really and truly. And you and your husband, Paul, first of all, you guys have been together, like... Uh, too six, long. Like, Turns out too long. Almost two decades? Like, <laughs> a while. Yes, so we have been together for almost 15 years. <laughs> we met at the... <laughs> It is, you know what? It is something to be really proud of. We just celebrated our 10 year anniversary last October. And I feel like the pandemic though, like I feel like you should add five years onto your marriage if you've survived this time. I have always had a fantasy that I would meet someone and we would like work together. And you work so beautifully with your husband. What's that like? Oh, Drew. Well, it's not all laughs all the time. <laughs> I mean- Here's the thing, like Paul, if he helps me run lines or work on a scene, it's really, it starts off great. And he's like, you got this. It's wonderful. You're doing great. And then we'll finish the scene and I'll say, did you like it? And he'll say, yeah. And then I'll say, why do you hate me so much? Why do you think I'm the worst? <laughs> I don't believe you. Like it spirals so quickly. Well, your husband's um, also a comedian, which is my number one criteria. I come to the table needing nothing but uh, yes. but someone with a good sense of humor. 
No, it is really the best. And, and the, the other thing is like someone's always up and someone's down, you know? So someone's found out amazing news and got the job they wanted and someone's devastated. So we're never quite on the same uh, emotional wavelength in terms of our careers, but in, in many ways, that's great because, you know, you have someone who's usually always happy in the house pulling the other person up. Well, and you also work with one of your best friends, Casey yes. Wilson, and you guys wrote Bride Wars together. So I'm gonna bring in Casey right now. You know her from shows like Saturday Night Live, Happy Endings, and Black Monday. Please welcome Casey Wilson. Hi! Okay. Hi, everyone! I just have to say something, and I don't care if I sound like I'm trying to date both of you. What is going on, Benjamin Buttons? You both look so beautiful and hot. I will say, and, and this is a plug, genuinely, I'm wearing your flower lipstick in Melon Pop that I'm obsessed with, and I've been just throwing this on for every Zoom I can to kind of feel like I've done something, and it's getting, it's causing quite a stir in the Zoom world for me. 